Hi, this is Leslie Langnau, Managing Editor at Design World Magazine, and Opto 22 is announcing its second generation Groove Industrial Appliance, the Groovebox Groove AR1, which distributes automation systems to mobile devices faster, handles a wider operating temperature range, and comes in a smaller footprint. The Groovebox hosts Groove Mobile Operator interfaces for virtually any automation system. You simply connect your automation system to Groove and then connect a nearly unlimited number of mobile devices to it through either a web browser or an app interface. This allows each mobile device to interact with the automation system in a manner that you select. The operating temperature range is 32 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. The unit has a solid state, fanless design with no moving parts, quad-core processing, gigabit Ethernet interfaces, and USB expansion for wireless LAN interfaces. It measures, as you can see, about 4 by 2 by 6.8 by 1.4 inches. Its size and rugged design make it perfectly suited for use in harsh industrial environments. Groove is a zero programming web-based way to build, deploy, and view effective scalable operator interfaces to monitor and control automation systems and associated components equipment and processes using mobile devices and other computer-based systems. These operator interfaces can be viewed on almost any mobile device or computer, regardless of its manufacturer, operating system, or screen size. Two-way communication allows remote control. Groove uses the OPC unified architecture, which is a standard method of securely communicating with devices on the plant floor. As an OPC UA client, Groove can quickly and easily browse system tags from an OPC UA server. You can test out a fully functional trial version of the software-only Groove server for Windows so that you can see your own system's data on a smartphone, tablet, or other mobile device. Any projects you build with this free trial version of Groove server for Windows can be run on the new Groovebox with no configuration or changes required. And now we're going to listen to Ben as he takes you through how you get one of these up and running and started. We like to say that Groove is mobile made simple. So I'm going to show you just how true that is. I'm going to build one app that works on my Android smartphone, this iPad, and Chrome on the Mac laptop. There are two ways to run Groove, on this compact industrial appliance or a software-only version that you install and run on your Windows-based computer. To boot up this Groove box, all I had to do was plug in the network, plug in power, and hit the power button. That's about as easy as it gets to boot up this Groove web server. Well, let's go log in. To do that, we need to go to a computer that's on the same network as the Groove box. Next, start your browser. Air, yeah, that's the only software you need to use Groove. There's no downloads, no plugins, no PC admin rights, just a browser. That's all you need. Let's connect to this server. To do this, we type in HTTPS and the Groove box address. Now, don't forget the S because we're making a secure connection to the server. I've already created an admin account, so I'll just log in here and then click the gear icon in the upper right. There, I'm in build mode. The entire build environment is right here in the browser tab. In this quick demo, I'm gonna create two gadgets, one attached to a control system directly in the room and one from an OPC UA server which is connected to a PLC here in the building. So let's set up the tags for each of those systems now. First, for my Opto22 control system, I select Add Opto22 Controller, type in the address, and then select the controller tag file. Now, let's configure the OPC UA tag server. Choose Add OPC UA Server, put a name, and then the address, colon, and the port number. Click Add Server, and we're all set. Okay, it's time to start building our interface. Since I'm building a mobile app, let's switch straight into the mobile view. Add a new page, give it a name, click OK. Now, we simply drag and drop gadgets onto that page. I'll add a button so that I can turn the lights in the studio on and off. Drag it here, then go up to Gadget Properties and select the tag that the gadget will be connected to. I'm gonna to connect to the tag for the studio lights. Now, I'm gonna drag a round gauge out to here and then I'm gonna live browse the OPC UA tag tree and find the tag we want. The one I'm after is a float variable in our Allen Bradley PLC. There it is. Too easy. One tag on an Opto22 controller 
and the other on a Compact Logix PLC. There was no code, no programming, it's all just drag and drop. Now let's go test the button. Here's the screen we just built on an Android smartphone, an iPad and Chrome on the Mac. And check this out, as I rotate my phone, everything scales to fit. That's how we can build one app that fits any screen size on any size device. When we said that Groove was made for mobile, we really weren't kidding. All right, I'll just try this button out here on my smartphone. <laughs> yep, and let's turn the lights back on from the iPad. You little ripper. Now, it's your turn to do this on your mobile. For more information on Groove, you can go to www.groove.com.